this song is powerful and simple. The minister last week Sunday said that it is now soul season. And that we need to start harvesting. That we should not be caught when the Lord returns with our bags empty. Let us just touch Jesus so that we may reach out to others and show the love of God to bring them into his everlasting arms so they may know and be blessed. Touching Jesus is all that really matters and your lives will never be the same there is only one way to touch him Jesus, it would be like we wasted our time to so just touch him, Jesus. There's something about that name, Jesus. It is the sweetest name. Jesus. There's something about that name, Jesus. 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 We 
want you with us, Jesus. We need you here, Jesus. Please hear our cry, oh God. Jesus, come down and be with us, Jesus. Jesus. Glorious God. Hosanna in the highest, Jesus. We worship you, God. Hallelujah. Jesus, 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 there's just something about that name. about that name Jesus lift your hands if there's something about that name Jesus lift your hands and lift your voices to the King of Kings hallelujah Jesus hallelujah Jesus Jesus yes we want him to come with us and us pull him down with our praise and worship he dwells in our praise hallelujah let us dwell Jesus dwell with us 
Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Are we finished worshiping our God? I hope we're not done yet. I hope we're not done yet. Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. There's just something about Jesus. He has brought us through a week and we're here today. If we do nothing else, let us worship Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. You see, oh God, and you love the same. You know everything about us, Jesus, and you call us yours. Jesus. Jesus.
Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, reading 4. What we do? You'll be reading four verses. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, the first four verses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. If you found it, say amen. Reading 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 1 to 4. He found it, say amen. All right, we're reading alternately. And I, brethren, when I came to you, came not with excellency of speech or of wisdom, declaring unto you the testimony of God. And I was with you in weakness and in fear, and in much trembling. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power. Amen. We just want to... But read verse 4 again. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words of man's wisdom, but in demonstration of the power, Spirit and of power. Jesus is the spirit and our power. So just touch him today. We're not having any written prayer requests, but I'm going to ask Minister Mattox if you could come and pray for us. Praise the Lord Jesus. Um, within the prayer request this morning, we are going to be praying for Minister Ramkins, huh, who is at home, who is not feeling well. And also Minister Boucher, who is not feeling well. Also remember Brother Mark Harris, Harrison, yes, and Sister Shields, who is not doing well. And... Uh, a few weeks ago, a prayer request was read for someone with a throat cancer. And um, the person, Miss Reed, she said she's in the hospital now, but they're saying that the thing is drying up. They were supposed to do a surgery. And uh, they tell her that it's drying up. They don't want to do the surgery yet. So we want to pray again. Eh, so that we make it final. Eh? We, 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 we pray and we say, go and look. You see in the cloud and him say nothing. But him say, go back again and look. Him say, I see a little. A, 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 a fish. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's pray. Yes. Just one quick addition to the list of things to pray for. Uh, many of you might know, but some may not, but we are still going to call his name, Bishop Frank Otto. He is the pastor for the Linstead Pentecostal Church in, over there in Linstead, St. Catherine. And he is at this time preparing for a major surgery. He's in the States right now. I know him very well. Many of us know him. And we are going to be very specific because there is a tumor, a large tumor in his brain. And so we know that that's going to be a big one in terms of what God is able. Praise so God. I want this church, amen, as a body to be lifting up Bishop Frank Otto. We're going to take the time out and all of us, we're going to join with Minister Praise Mattox God. and we are going to be praying. Praise, Praise God. God. Let's all pray. Heavenly Father, Jesus, we come before you, reverence, Lord God. 
we bow our knees and our face to the ground lord jesus god with our hand raised god as we surrender our heart as we surrender our mind as we surrender our life to you jesus we give you glory and honor we come before you, Jesus, the almighty God, the omnipotent God, the self-existing God, Jesus, the God who created all things, Lord God. You fashioned this world from nothing, Lord God, and you have made man from dust. Jesus, we reverence your holy name, Lord God. At your name, demons flee. They trembled, Lord God of heaven, Jesus, Lord as we come we lift you up we tell you thank you great god that you are our god we thank you lord jesus god that you are our god you, you are our lord jesus lord god you said we are your friend lord god and so jesus we come before you lord god petition you lord jesus god we invite your presence to be with us here today we pray lord jesus god that you will take full control of every atmosphere bind the strong men lord jesus god of this area lord god and we render them powerless today lord jesus god we pray for the saving of souls jesus lord god that someone will open their heart and to receive you jesus lord god we put before you lord god your servant lord god minister boucher and Minister Ramkinson, Lord God, you know all of their situation. And we pray, God, that you will touch them. Grant them healing, Lord Jesus, God Almighty, and deliverance. Grant it to them for your name and for your glory. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, take full control of great Jesus, Lord God Almighty. And let your will be done. Lord God Almighty, Pastor Hutter, Bishop Hutter, Lord God you are God and Lord God you made him Lord God you fashioned him you see this tumor Lord Jesus God Almighty we put him before you Lord God we place him before you for healing and deliverance guide the hands of the doctor heal him Lord Jesus God for your name for your glory Lord God Almighty so that you can be praised that you can be praised in the atmosphere and every aspect of life that men will know that you are a God who heal, who save, who remove tumor, who has delivered. Lord God Almighty, be read, Lord Jesus God. We pray and we place her in your hand for the throat cancer. Lord Jesus God, they see a sign of it reducing. But Lord God Almighty, we come before you, Lord God. And we ask, Lord God, that you will dry it up, Jesus. Lord God, as you dried up that cancer, we pray, Lord God, that she will surrender her life totally to you, Jesus God Almighty, so that her life will give you glory. Jesus, Lord God, Brother Mark Harrison, Lord God and Sister Shields, we place them in your hand one more time, God. We put them before you, Jesus. Every saints, Lord God, that has been going through sickness, Lord God Almighty, we pray for your deliverance. We pray, Lord God, that you will keep our minds upon you. Help us not to become weary. But Lord Jesus God, that we will look to you knowing that you are God. That you are the Almighty God. And that you are to be glorified. Hear us as we call upon you this morning, God. We pray, dear Lord God, for your spirit of wisdom to be upon us, Lord God. That we will follow after you, Jesus God. That we will do that which is right in your sight, God. With a perfect heart. With a heart that loves you. With a heart that seeks after your righteousness. Jesus, Lord God, take full control of the service today. Every aspect of it, Lord God. The moderator, Jesus. The musician, Lord God, we pray for the unsaved God. That as they come in, minister to their heart. Help us to lift you up, God, that you will draw them to you. Lord God, anoint your servant. Give him a word, Lord Jesus God. We come against a spirit of slumberness inside your house, Lord Jesus God. Lord God, we render it powerless today, God. Lord God, bind it and remove it from your people, Jesus God. 
Help us to hear your word. To receive your word within our heart. Lord God, that we will have your word inside of us. That we will not sin. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Let your awesome will be done, God. Take full control. Give us a spirit of worship here today, God. Help us to worship you and to lift you up, Lord God Almighty. As we come, Lord Jesus, God, we pray your blessing will be upon every saints, God. Continue, Lord God, to keep our marriages together. Continue to help us to love, Lord Jesus, God. That we will love, Lord God, in faith. That we will love in purity. Jesus, Lord God Almighty, take full control. Bless our heart today as we give you thanks, Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let all said in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Praise the Lord. We'll be singing from hymn 120, leaning on the everlasting arms. What Everybody stand, a please. fellowship. Just stand and just worship God as we sing this song. Him 120. 120. Him 120. Leading on the everlasting arms. What a fellowship. What a joy divine. Leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness. What a peace is mine. Leaning on the everlasting
house of the Lord this morning. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Jesus. Can I get a hallelujah on this side? Can I get a hallelujah over on this side? Jesus. How oh, glory to God. Holy Ghost. He's all over me. And he's keeping me alive. Oh glory to God this morning. Praise God. I say he's all over me. And he's keeping me alive. Go ahead, sing us. He is all over me. And he's keeping me alive. Oh, yes. Keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. He is all over me. And he's keeping me alive. Jesus is keeping me alive.
Jesus. Oh, thank you for salvation this morning, Lord. Oh, glory. Thank you, Lord, for your blood that was shed on Calvary Cross this morning. Praise God. Holy Ghost. My God, you're such a sweet spirit in this place this morning. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Church, this is just a foretaste of things to come. My God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Just a foretaste. Holy Ghost. Praise God. Thank you all this morning for coming out this morning, church. Praise God. You may be seated as I invite our bishop to come and to greet this congregation. Visitors and saints alike. Thank you. Come on, we praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, we praise the Lord, everybody. Put your hands together and give him a clap offering, if you will. If the Lord has been good to you, praise God. Praise God. If the Lord has been good to you, put your hands together one more time. One more time. That's right. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Wherever I go, I will praise him. Wherever I am, I will praise him. For his love surrounds me like the sea. I lift up the name of Jesus. I lift up the name of Jesus. Because the name of Jesus lifted me. I don't care how anybody look at me. I don't care how you feel about me. I don't care how you perceive me. If I clap my hands, if I give a shout on the bus or half a tree square. And you look at me in a kind of negative way and wonder... Why is he doing this? Can I tell you, it is because the Lord has been good to me. I don't watch anybody's face to praise the Lord. I don't wait until I'm in church to praise the Lord. I praise him at Emancipation Park when dignitaries are running around the track. 
I lift my hands and I glorify the Lord. And I encourage everybody in the house. Amen. Wherever you go, praise him. Wherever you are, praise him. Don't be ashamed to lift up your Jesus. He's good. He's good. And his mercy is endured forever. And he deserves to be lifted up. He deserves to be elevated. He deserves to be lifted high. My hallelujah belongs to him. Belongs to you. Oh, somebody praise the Lord. Somebody stand up on your feet if you agree with me. And give him a shout of praise. Lift your hallelujah to him one more time. Lift your hallelujah to him one more time. Lift your hallelujah to him one more time. Shout to him and tell him, my hallelujah belongs to you. Glory to God. I'm not going to praise nobody else. I'm not going to elevate nobody else. I'm not going to magnify nobody else. My hallelujah belongs to Jesus. Put your hands together and magnify the great God. Magnify the great God. The enemy don't want you to praise him. The enemy wants to block your mind. The enemy wants to put things in your way to stop you from praising him. But let me tell you this morning, let God arise. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. The enemy will come in one way. But when you walk in with God and you lift your prayers and you stand up as a son of God, he will flee. So, 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 seven ways. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Hallelujah. Anybody want to embrace that word? Let God arise. Let God arise. Come on, we say, let God arise. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. My God. I wonder. I know we're singing up long time. Standing up long time. But can I ask you for a, a few more seconds? He said, let God arise. You know that old one? And his enemies be scattered. Let God. Let God arise. The other day I had to go to a meeting. And it was a meeting with some dignitaries. And I put on my best suit, my black suit. And my red tie. And I was dressed up on anything less. I'm a white shirt. And anything less, I would have felt as if I'm not ready to go before those dignitaries. This morning I felt special and my God felt extra special to me. So I changed my clothes and I put on my vest. And I, I feel special this morning. Like I'm coming before royalty. Even if you don't have a vest, you know. Put on your best. Fix up your hair. Shine off your shoes. But more than anything else, clean up your heart. And let us come before the presence of the Lord. Are you ready to lift him up some more? Are you ready to lift him up some more? Are you ready to glorify him some more? Come on, everybody. If you feel anybody in the house tired and you're sitting, stand up. One word, stand up, everybody. Even if you're tired, we're going to have the victory. We're going we're to get the victory. There are some victory testimonies you know brother michael wilson my god he was poisoned the other day right and i don't know what folks thought he wasn't gonna make it but the church of the living god prayed we sent up the petition we called upon god and my god is out of hospital and he's doing well and he's moving on in the precious name of jesus let god arise let god arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise. Come on, church. And his enemies be scattered. Oh, let, let God, God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Let God, let God, let God, let God, yes. God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Let God, oh. let God arise. My God. And his enemies be let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Oh, yes, sir. Let God arise. My God. Let God arise. 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 Let God ar
Let God, let God, oh, come on, we sing church. Let God, all right, and his enemies be scattered. Let God, all right, and his enemies be scattered. Let God, oh, yes, and his enemies. Let God, let God, let God, oh, sing that song. Let God, Voices and praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We magnify your great God. You are worthy to be praised. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Blessed be your great name. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. Saints of the Most High God, everybody, you may be seated. Amen. Amen. Amen in the presence of the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. So very good to be in the house of the Lord, to, to magnify Him. Amen. To praise Him. Amen. To give unto the Lord the glory that is due to His great name. So very good. I greet all of you. I greet the household of faith this morning in the wonderful name of Jesus. Come on, we put our hands together for our brethren. Amen. Who have come out this morning. Some of our brethren are not well. Amen. And so they are joined in the service via the World Wide Web. Normally they would have been here. We have prayed for some others. Just didn't get to send a request, but we do know and we understand. And for you, we are praying. But I really want to welcome all of you. Amen. The saints of this local assembly into the house of the Lord today. And God richly, richly bless you. To all the visitors that are in the house. Amen. Saints, can we put our hands together for all our visitors. Praise God. We thank you for taking the time out. Amen. To come to be with us. Amen. It was easier to find us when we were under the tent. Everybody just say the, the big tent at Marvelly Park. But then we are down here at 53 Malines Road. And amen. Sunday after Sunday, folks are still finding us. We have a list here with about nine, ten pers nine persons. And, you know, if sometimes I don't get to call the names and... I am drawn up for it, and I was drawn up yesterday, but I really want you to know, visitors, that we appreciate every one of you. Just put your hands together, saints of God, one more time for all the visitors in the house. Praise God. You are very special to us. Stephen Thompson, Evangelist Esme, Esme Fleming, amen, from the Emmanuel Apostolic in Florida, amen. And her son, they are here. Brother Michael Daly from Pentecostal Sanctuary. Amen, amen, amen. Sister Eastwood, amen. Geneva Williams, Joel Brown, Adriana Weir, 
Patricia Taylor. Oh, Donovan, no, these are not even visitors, you know, but some of these are not visitors per se, but at the same time, they're visitors. But let's put our hands together for all those that are here that are visiting. We have called the names. God richly, richly bless you. So very good to have you in the house today. Amen to the Faith Apostolic Ministries family. Amen right across the length and breadth of this globe. We are joined in. And for those who have not yet joined, amen. You will join a little bit later on or so. Please accept greetings from the brethren here. Amen. And know that you are always welcome. To the visitors also online, we want you to know that we love you. We appreciate you. Amen. And if you're not here, we know that something is wrong. So you're special also. And we want you to know that we appreciate every one of you. So let's put our hands together for the fam family online, the visitors online. We say God richly bless all of you. Praise God. Praise God. I, I look across. Amen. And I, I'm seeing... I'm seeing Canada coming over into Jamaica to, to warm up, praise God, in so many different ways and from so many different angles. Mighty God. Is that brother and sister Barnswell, Dennis? Mighty God. Aren't they looking? Come on, stand up and let's see you. I haven't seen you in a long time. Amen. Come on, we put our hands together for brother and sister Dennis. So good to have you. Amen. Hello and... Stand up, son. My God. I saw him pushing up there for us to see him. God bless you. So it's not just brother and sister, then it is brothers and sister Dennis. Amen. God richly bless you. Bless you. And we will certainly be in touch in a little while. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Lord. So very good to see you, sirs. And then, sir and madam. Then um, we have some more Canadians with us. Amen. In the person of Elder Donovan Brown. Come on, we put our hands. He's not a stranger to us. Amen. But he's coming all the way from over there in Toronto, from the Mount Zion Apostolic Church, right there in the heart of Toronto. And as I said, the Canadians are coming to chill out here in Jamaica, along traveling with, amen, Elder Brown, amen, with Evangelist Weir. And she Many of you might know her, many of you might not. I don't know if you have recognized all the faces to wear, but I'm going to ask you to stand. We will see Elder Brown standing in a little while. I'm going to ask you to stand so that we can see your face. This is a chaplight. Amen. And she, amen. 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 God richly bless you, Sister Weir. And we will let you give a small greeting in a little while. That's a small one. I mean, unless you want to preach otherwise. Amen. <laughs> Amen. We'd ask you to give a small greeting. But then also, also out of, this is not from Canada now, but this is from the United States. I'm telling you, you know, they're coming here, amen, to, to thaw out in Jamaica. Is that Evangelist Fleming? Amen. Uh, where's Evangelist Fleming? Amen. Oh, hmm? Praise God. I know she was around and... Praise God. Praise God. And I hope I haven't mixed it up, you know. Amen. From the Emmanuel Apostolic Church in Florida. God bless you. God bless you. God bless my sister. I know you stood earlier on. But just give a, give a, give a wave one more time. One more time. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Yes, 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 you. Oh, praise the Lord. Praise God. Yes. I really don't miss Florida this morning because I'm feasting, praise the Lord Jesus. And you know, brethren, when you are among the family of God, 
I mean family. Family look out for each other. Hallelujah. Family is concerned about each other. And you know, when I came to the door this morning, praise the Lord, and the welcome that I got, hallelujah, I said, I mean, this is home. I, th I said, this is home. I said, you know, I, can, I have something to take back to Florida to let them know that I was at home. Praise the Lord Jesus. This morning, hallelujah, I am really enjoying this wonderful service, wonderful people of God, the wonderful shepherd, hallelujah, that God has placed in your life. Praise the Lord. A shepherd is a leader, brethren, hallelujah, and he carries a flock. That's the responsibility of a shepherd. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. A shepherd do not sleep all the time. A shepherd is like another David. Praise God Almighty. While you are sleeping, the shepherd watching. While you are sleeping, the shepherd taking care of you. Praise the Lord. And this morning I salute you, Bishop. Praise the Lord. And I want you to keep the fire burning. Hallelujah. And let no Jezebel spirit, hallelujah, cause you, hallelujah, to go to the juniper tree. Praise the Lord Jesus. You won't be going to the juniper tree, hallelujah, because the angel of the Lord is watching over you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And for you, my brethren, hallelujah, you will not go to Lord the bar, but you will be feeding, praise the Lord Jesus, at the king's table. Hallelujah. It is time, it's the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When we should look up, brethren, for our redemption, joy tonight. You know, I don't want to take up too much time today, praise the Lord. But when you hear me shouting, praise the Lord. When you hear me get excited for the Lord Jesus Christ, if you don't know my pain, then you will not understand my praise. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. So today, praise the Lord, keep the fire burning. Somebody said, fan the fire. Keep fanning the fire, hallelujah. Because we know neither the day or the hour when it, Lord Jesus Christ joined now. God bless you. God keep you. Hallelujah. And keep prospering you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Praise God. Come on, we praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, we praise the Lord, everybody. Amen, amen, amen. I greet you, brother. Amen, Ozzy. I know I'm looking good and I'm saying, but that's brother Ozzy Martin there. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Good to have you. Amen. In the house with us this morning, in the wonderful name of Jesus. God bless you, Sister Weir. And then along with Sister Weir is her daughter, Adriana. God bless you, Sister Adriana. Good to have you visiting with mom in Faith Chapter today. And then along with the contingent is Brother Joel Brown. Amen. He's the son of Elder Brown here. And so, my God, we are blessed today to have so many wonderful, precious visitors all across. Come, we put our hands together one more time. Amen. 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 Just for a brief moment, Sister Weir, come greet us in Jesus' name. Shall we lift our hands and magnify the Lord? Hallelujah. He's faithful. He's wonderful. He's a sovereign God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. There is none like you. There is none to be compared unto you. I don't know about you this morning, but I know he's a faithful God. Last year, this time, I was sick, about to die with COVID. So when I say God is faithful, I know he's faithful. So don't look at me like you don't know that he's faithful. He is a faithful God. Hallelujah. From the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same, he's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's just an honor to be in this house one more time. El Lebron say preach, but he's the preacher today. Glory to God, but it's just a blessing to see some old faces and new faces. God bless you, Bishop Daly and your lovely wife, the core of ministers. Glory to God. All God's wonderful people. Is that all right? Glory to God. 
So much could have been said today, but I'll see you after service. But I don't want to leave my word with you. I want to tell you a quick story. Glory to God. Second Kings chapter 6. My God, the prophet Elisha and his servant was under attack. Hallelujah. By the Syrian army. The Bible said that the Syrian king warred against Israel. So when I heard Bishop say this morning, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Hallelujah. I know what he's saying. That king couldn't understand. He said, let us set an ambush, glory to God, against Israel. Can I tell you this morning, as the children of God, you are a prime target for the enemy. But no need to fear. You are targeted, but you are protected by the most high God. Oh, hallelujah. That sounds like preaching. Let me calm down. Glory to God. I'm just excited to be here. You know what? The king couldn't understand. I'm, I'm telling somebody that needs to be encouraged and setting a quick foundation for the preacher today. Listen to me. That king couldn't understand what was happening. He had to say, who is telling the king of Israel what's going on in my camp? They said, nay, Lord, nobody's talking your business. It's that man of God, the prophet Elisha. Oh, glory to God. When you got the Holy Ghost on the inner man, God watches over his children. He protects you. He tells you what the enemy is up to. Oh, Shama. Oh, glory to God. Woo, hallelujah. I'm sorry, I was called to greet Holy Ghost. I want to remind somebody this morning. Your back is against the wall. You're targeted by the mm, Shama. But you are protected by the Most High God. Hallelujah. Let God arise and the enemy be scattered. Mighty God. Let me tell you something, children of God. Hear me this morning. The prophet of God's servant was so afraid when he saw that they were surrounded. But the man of God just said one word to God. Open his eyes that he may see. Let me close by saying to you, they that are with them, Lord Jesus, they that are with us are more than they that are with them. Don't be afraid this morning. Even if your back is against the wall, even if you don't know how it's going to work out, know that God will make a way. Let God arise and the enemy be scattered. It's a pleasure. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Come on, we give the Lord a high praise. Come on, we give the Lord a high praise. Mighty God. Mighty God. Minister Daly. Elder Daly. God bless you, sir. Just one quick greeting in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. No, man. Praise the Lord, everybody. No. Still not getting there. Praise the Lord, everybody. Glory to the Lord. Let's just give the Lord a round of applause this morning. Let us give him it. Yes, he deserves it this morning. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I'm just going to pick up from where she left on. You see... God has not given to us the spirit of fear. He has given to us power, love, sound mind. You know, I realize, praise God Almighty, I won't be long, Pastor. You know, I realize, of course, you know, there's a lot of persons out there are preparing for this festive season out there. But are they preparing to serve the Almighty God? Because God is God and He always will be God. Praise God Almighty. Has thou not known, has thou not heard uh, that the everlasting God, uh, the Lord, uh, creator of the ends of the earth, fainteth not, neither is he weary. There's no searching uh, of his understanding. Um, he giveth power to the faith. <laughs> Hallelujah. And to them 
that have no might. He increased strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But they, but they that wait. For they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Put your hands together for the word. Put your hands together and glorify God for the word. Powerful word. Wonderful Jesus. I take my seat right now and as I move to sit I want to publish the band of marriage between Al Anthony Clark and Alicia Kenesha Adamson Nurse Adamson if anybody have any just cause why they may not be joined together keep it speak and do it quick and don't tell anybody else come to me god bless you in jesus name praise god god bless the church at this time we'll have the announcements by sister mcgregor thank you Coming to you in the name of the Lord. Look out, Satan, look out. Look out, Satan, look out. Look out, Satan, look out. I'm coming to you in the name of the Lord. Look out, Satan, look out. One more time. Look out, Satan, look out. Look out, Satan, look out. Praise the Lord Jesus, everybody. And can we bless the name of the Lord again? Praise the Lord Jesus. I'm here to give the test, the, the announcements. But, 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 but just before I do the announcements, you know, I just always like to share a little word. And it's just in continuation with what was said. So, Praise God that we did in devotion on, on, on Saturday. We were looking at the children of Israel going into the promised land. And this is the word in Numbers 14 verse 9. Only rebel, rebel not against the Lord. Neither fear ye the people of the land. For they are bread for us. Their defense is departed from them. And the Lord is with us. Fear them not. Praise God. So the word for somebody is move, move forward in faith and not fear. Move forward in faith and not fear. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We have another victory. I know Pastor saying a lot of us, a lot of the members are sick and we have another victory report. Brother Joel, I heard that he was in the hospital and Brother Joel is here. Come on, Brother Joel. Come on. Stand and give a praise unto the Lord. Come on, take the mask off your mouth so we hear your praise. Do it again. Take the mask down and give a praise. Come on, that's victory in the name of Jesus. Jesus the healer. Come on, bless the Lord, everybody. Praise God, God, God.
are not yet a member of Faith Chapel and would like to be, please contact Sister Erica Redman. Sister Erica, I think most of us would have known who you are. Praise God, Sister Erica Redman. Praise God. And last but no means least, um, the application for Faith Bible College for the upcoming term, January 2023, um, is open. So please speak to Sister Barrett. Um, for further details, I'm not seeing Sister Barrett, but that doesn't mean she's not here. Um, so please speak to Sister Barrett. And um, the funeral service for Sister Nursey, Sister, Sister Nursey's mom, I'm not finished. Sister Nursey's mom <laughs> will be on Monday, December 20th at the Naga Heads Church. Rounds of dawning, they shall shine. Let's worship the Lord, saints. Let's worship the Lord one more time. Thank Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God. We are about to dedicate a man child to the Lord. Richard Floyd Gaynor. Do I get it right? Okay. Richard Floyd Gaynor. It's a man child, and you know, whenever we see man child come, you know, it's good that the Lord, that the parent chose to bring that child back to the Lord. And, you know, we're going to be reading in your hearing on Deuteronomy 6 from verse 3 to 9. I would like you to stand for the reading of God's word. Hallelujah. I'll read while you follow. Hear, therefore, O Israel, and observe to do it, that it may be well with thee, and that ye may increase mightily, as the Lord God thy Father hath promised to thee, in the land that floweth with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord with all the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy might. And these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way. And when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thine hands, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes, and thou shalt write them upon the posts of thy house and upon thy gates. During the portion of God's holy word. You know, I have to just encourage you a little. As the scripture says, you shall bind them upon thy heart and upon thy gates, and you must teach. And these words which I command thee, thou shalt teach them, right, unto thy children. It's your responsibility as parent that you should grow up a child in the way in which he should grow. And when he's whole, he shall not depart. You know, it's good for you to bring them to be blessed, right, and to seek the blessing of the ministers and the Lord on the child. But it's your responsibility to bring the child back to us, even in Sunday school. And not only the child, you yourself should come and get the teaching of the Lord. You know, as parent, the best example for a child is to be an example. The best life you can offer to a child is to be that example for the child to follow. It's a man-child, and in this time, it's very hard to rear man-child. And you know, the kingdom needs man-children man into his house. So I'm just imploring you as parent, you know, just to bring back this child to us, bring him back to the Lord that he may worship the Lord, and you yourself should come. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. 
All right, thank you, Jesus. Let us all stand. Can you point your hands to this man child? His name is Richard Gaynor. And I want you to help me pray as I bless her, bless this child. And I'll also pray for the mother as well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you one more time, Jesus. Here I am with this man child, Richard Gaynor, mighty God. The parents it fit, mighty God, to bring him to you, mighty God, to bless. Father, I pray, mighty God, that you'll touch him. That you'll increase his health, mighty God. Increase his strength. I pray, mighty God, that you'll help him. That no sickness will come near him, mighty God. And whenever their sickness comes, be it fever, whatever it is, that, mighty God, you will be the healer. As we know that you are balm in Gilead, Jesus. I pray, mighty God, that as I'm here today, Jesus, presenting this child to you, I pray also, mighty God, for the mother of the child, that she will grow him up in the nature and the admonition of the Lord and help her to understand that the words that will be spoken over this child life from the people of God and as a child of God, when he comes, mighty God, that he will not depart from the faith. Because the word of God says, train up a child in the way in which he should go. That when he is old, he shall not depart. And I pray, mighty God, that the parents will become godly parents, mighty God. And serve you in spirit and in truth, mighty God. That they will be able to lead and to direct this little child, Jesus. Mighty God, I present but this child to you, mighty God. I pray that you'll touch him one more time. Touch your parents one more time, Jesus. The father, mighty God. It's a man child. And as child and as parents, mighty God. You know, a man child deserves the father to be involved in his life. For him to become a wholesome child. Mighty God, I pray that you'll bless the parent, mighty God. Help the parent, help the family. That they will help him, this child to grow and to teach him the way in which he should go, that when he's old, he shall not depart. Mighty God, I come to you one more time. I thank you for this privilege. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Morning star. Hallelujah. Morning star. Light of creation. Come on, just shut in with Jesus right now. Hallelujah. Of velvet's flow. Praise God. Silver clouds, a shimmering curtain. He's designed. Consider upon the words. Look at the sun, the moon, and the stars.
sang his praise. Hallelujah. Now comes time to hear from the Lord. I now invite our bishop to come and to introduce the man for the hour. Praise God. Praise God. And can we praise the Lord, everybody? Can we praise the Lord, everybody? Amen. Amen. Let me just ask us to stand at this time, saints of God. Amen. We thank God for his presence. Amen. Which has been here from certainly before we got here, but certainly we felt him since we started service this morning. And what a sweet, sweet spirit, amen, has been in this place. If you agree with me, lift your hands and magnify, amen, the great God one more time. He's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy. We bless your name. Brother Elder Donovan Brown is no stranger to us. In fact, well, just before I speak of Elder Brown, I wasn't here last week. Amen. And so I did not get to put my little voice to welcome back in the tabernacle. Amen. Minister Edgerton Brown. Praise God, praise God, praise God. You know, I know you would have done it already, but I have to put my little voice because he has been away for a little while and it is just always awesome, you know, when the saints run off for a while and come back to, to see them. We love these men and women and can't do without them. And it's good to see you, Minister Edgerton. Gear up for... Brother Martin, do you with that for me? But bring him up near further up the line in the name of the lord good to have you sir amen in jesus name elder brown is no stranger to us that he has ministered amen in our services on more than one occasion amen he has ministered for us and a fine man of god is over there from the church in toronto mount zion apostolic uh, bishop dr corley please please convey our Greetings and love to Bishop Corley and the Mount Zion Church over there. Amen in Toronto. Brothers and sisters, without any further delay, it is my privilege to invite to come to this podium to minister to us this morning, Elder Donovan Brown. Can we give him the faith chapel welcome? Amen in the name of the Lord. Glory. Somebody just shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on, let me get a feet chapel. Hallelujah. hallelujah. My God, my God, my God. I am under the rock. The rock the is higher than I. Jehovah, hide me. I'm under the rock. Don't tell my enemy. I'm under the rock. Jehovah, hide me. I'm under the rock, I am under the rock, and the rock is higher than I. Jehovah, hide me, I'm under the rock. Go tell my enemy, I'm under the rock. Jehovah, hide me, I'm under the rock, I am under the rock. under the rock shout a hallelujah somebody shout a hallelujah glory be to God hallelujah you may be seated for a while certainly we give God thanks 
we give God thanks to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Glory be to God. Somebody said, where the presence of the Lord is, there is liberty. And certainly there is no better place to find yourself than in the house of the Lord. Glory be to God. Let me just honor the spirit of the Lord that is in this house. What a, what a, what a, what a, what a feeling that we are feeling here this morning in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. My God, I, I, I'm feeling a spirit of worship. I'm feeling a spirit of worship. And if you're in warfare, then worship is the best thing to do. <laughs> uh, somebody didn't get that, but you're going to get it soon. Hallelujah. If you're under attack by the enemy, and all you got to do is open up your mouth and praise God. Because when you open up your mouth and praise God, there, there, there is a missile that, that launch into the enemy's camp. Manda Kushata. Somebody just shout hallelujah. Glory be to God. Shout another hallelujah. Ah, oh, God. Uh, yeah. Chapel, you're ready for it. You're ready for it. Greetings to your fine bishop. Very humble man of God. Uh, no other person we are talking about than Bishop Garfield Daly. Put your hand together for him. And to his lovely wife, Lady Daly, sitting over there in her fine blue suit. Put your hands together for a truly a mother, a mother of the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And to mother. Oh my God. I remember back in the days on the boulevard. Bishop Grizzle. Glory be to God. I, see, I've been coming to chapel a long time. From you were over there in that. So greetings to Mother Grizzle. Put your hands together for Mother Grizzle. We can't leave out the stallion. and these persons stand up for the gospel and stand up for what they're believing and fight for what they're believing. And we need more people like that in the Pentecostal service to stand up and fight for what you're believing. Don't back down. Don't give up. Somebody shout glory. glory. Hallelujah. I bring you greetings from cold, cold Canada. All the way from Toronto, Canada, Mount Zion Apostolic Church, where our pastor is Bishop Dr. Colin Corley. And so we send greetings over, greetings to you all. And so we are glad to be here. Glory be to God in this tropics, into this beautiful weather, just enjoying it for a bit. Glory be to God. Uh, my wife called me this morning and then she just showed me what was happening around the house because, you know, you have technology now. You can see, steer here and see what is happening. And it was just snowing there. I said, thank God I'm here. <laughs> oh, God. Greetings. Thank God for Evangelist Ware and to her daughter, Adriana Ware, and to my son, Brother Joel Brown, and to all the ministers, the fine elders and ministers, Minister Martin, Minister Edgerton Brown, good time friend from way back when we are coming, my namesake, Edgerton Brown, and to all of you, my father's children, the musician, and uh, the praise team there, glory be to God. I greet you in the most exalted name, the name Jesus. There is no other name given under heaven whereby men, M-U-S-T, must be saved. There is no other name given under heaven whereby we must be saved. The name Jesus. And even when we call that name Jesus, we feel a relief. Glory be to God. I'd like you to turn your Bibles just to the book of Psalms. Psalms 143. I'll read a few verses there. And if you stand with me, uh, this is your final standing. If you stand other from this, it won't be any fault of mine. Can't blame me 
but I'm asking you just to stand for the reading of the word of the Lord. Psalms 143, and we're going to read from the seventh verse down to about the eleventh. If you find it, say amen. amen. Psalms 143 and the seventh verse say, Hear me speedily, O Lord, my spirit fail it. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning, for indeed do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk, for I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from mine enemies. I flee unto thee. To hide me. Teach me to do thy will. For thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord. For thy name's sake. For thy righteousness' sake. Bring my soul out of trouble. <sighs> Hallelujah. Bring my soul out of trouble. Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise and glory and honor right now. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your kindness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your compassion right now. I pray, God, that you saturate this place, God, and take charge. My God, dispatch angels right now with flaming sword and fire. Stand guard of this building, God. We take control of this atmosphere and we bind every force of darkness. Father, release your word right now. We come against every opposition of the word right now, God. Let your servant right now, my God, hallelujah. I pray right now in the name of the Lord Jesus, let your spirit take control. Speak to our hearts right now as we ask of this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Somebody just shout a glory right where you are. Oh God, just look to your neighbor and say, trust God. Uh, look to another neighbor and say, trust God. My God. Uh, somebody don't get it. Just say, trust God. Trust God. Hallelujah. You may be seated in the presence of Almighty God. Uh, I try to be very short with you because... As the Lord laid on my spirit to speak, and I thought the speaker would continue to preach while she was up here. I was saying, go ahead and preach. My God, she had the word. She didn't want it. But my God, she had that word. Glory be to God. Uh, Sister Joel Daly, Sister Crystal Daly, send your greetings over. Minister Lennox Brown, send his greetings over. All the way from Toronto, Canada. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord comes to us from the book of Psalms 143. And my thought today to you is trust God in spite of what is happening around you. Uh, the God that we serve is a never failing God. He sits high, he looks low, and he believes in all his children uh, it is his responsibility to take care of us because he is our daddy he's our father and so as we as parents is our responsibility to grow up the child and you hear uh, the minister just gave the command to the blessing of the baby it is our responsibility to take care of our children and to grow them up in the right way that they will not depart from it and so it is the lord's responsibility to take care of his children uh, somebody say we are protected no matter what somebody said god has not given us the spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind glory be to god and because we know that the God we serve never lost a battle. 
we know that the God that we serve is a good God hallelujah and it can be very very hallelujah rough at times but the God that we serve people have this God that we serve that is all loving and he will never destroy but the Bible said God will not destroy a city before he warns it simple mean that God still will destroy and God will defend us in whatever it takes him to defend his people glory be to God uh, the enemy is like a roaming lion seeking whom he may devour and so we are in this time and age where we are in the last and closing days and the coming of the Lord is at hand and so when we look at the text Psalms 143 when David cried out and said cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning for in you do I trust Ah, David did not trust in anything else but God. David now was a man of God's own heart, but David trust in the Lord with all his heart. Anything David was about to do, he seek God about it. And this is how a child of God should operate. So whatever we are going to do, we are to ask God, seek God permission about it. Ah, uh, we got to understand now when we look at this text, the Bible said, uh, when David said, now revive me, O Lord, your, for your name's sake, for your righteousness sake, bring my soul out of trouble. Sometimes it gets hard for us in life. Sometimes we are between a rock and a hard place and we don't know what to do. Uh, but God said to tell you, whatever you're going through right now, you're to trust him. This is not time for you to throw in the towel. It is not time for you to give up. But you are to trust him. It is hard. You can find the next dollar. It is very hard. But can God be trusted in a time like this? Every morning when I wake up, Bishop, I wake up, I want to spend some time with the Lord before I head on the road. I've got to ensure that my knees, oh God, are rubbing a little and I'm saying, Jesus, what is your next move for today? I've got to ensure that I set my day in order because when we pray we are breaking up some atmosphere when we are pray we are mashing up some plan of, of the enemy already when we pray we are shooting some missile my god and what the enemy has planned for us we are interrupting it with some prayer and so it is imperative as a child of God before we set foot to the doors to pray before we go somebody say pray, pray. Uh, I've got to ensure that I seek my God I've got to ensure that I pray I've got to ensure uh, that I read the word I've got to ensure that I cry unto him I've got to ensure that I seek God for another move as David the David the psalmist declare that this poor man cried unto the Lord and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all his troubles there are some troubles around us that if we don't cry to God then we ain't getting anywhere glory be to God you can't win this battle unless you see God and cry to him he knows all about you yes God is omnipotent he's omniscient he's omnipresent he knows everything happening around you but God wants you to open up your mouth and cry to him and say daddy Jesus my God some folks around here is troubling me daddy Jesus I have trouble on the job but I need backup I need backup daddy Jesus I'm going through a financial struggle right now but I need help from 
glory. Is there anybody here this afternoon that need help from Jesus? I hear the Bible said, my help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Yes, is our refuge and strength a very present help in the time of trouble. When trouble come our way, we have a God that we can call on and his name is Jesus. Somebody just said Jesus a little bit. Oh God, we're going to get somewhere this afternoon because there's some few folks here that is in trouble and God didn't send me all this way with this word to tell you that help is on your way but he said just trust me and I will take you out of your dilemma. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost already pushing me but somebody just showed glory right where you are my God, in our text this morning, David is, is crying out to God. Isn't he crying? He's saying, notice how David, a man after God's own heart. Now listen this very clearly. This is David now, a man of the God, God's own heart. He cries out to the Lord. He said, cause me to know the way in which I should walk. You'd think that David already knew how to walk because is a man after God's own heart but when trouble came his way he got to cry to daddy Jesus he said now notice that David is reaching up to God and he's crying out hallelujah not happy to just wallow in his trouble but he's reaching out to daddy Jesus and he's asking out God I need you I'm seeking out your face God himself to bring him out of his trouble what he find himself in he needs peace my God they are trying to tear David apart but God knows that David is a man after his own heart and so what David does now he didn't do it by might not by power but by his spirit somebody said by his spirit it doesn't matter how it looks around you if you follow the system of this world you will act out of protocol you will act out of your Christianity you will act out of a child of God you will put down the Bible and act unwisely but when David found himself in trouble it doesn't matter what was happening around him the Bible said David behaved wisely even while Saul tried to kill David David could have slew him but David now remember this is God's anointing and I will do the prophet of God's anointing no harm David hacked wisely have you ever been there hallelujah when your been back is against the wall and you could have acted out of my God protocol and do your own thing and get joy on the inside but it wouldn't benefit you anything it wouldn't profit you anything because when God fight the battle for you when God fight the war for you my God it is victorious Jehoshaphat find himself in a battle glory be to God the Bible said the Syrians oh God and all the allies came against Israel more Joseph Jehoshaphat my God feared for a moment but when they see God and cry to God what should I do the Bible said the spirit of the Lord came up oh God on an individual and told them all they need to do is get the praise team and begin to praise God when Jehoshaphat heard it my God they called the troop together they call Israel together and they begin to praise God but when the Syrian came oh God and when the Jebusite came and when all the sites came together they begin to kill themselves because they sought God about the matter and begin to praise God when you praise God you confuse the enemy somebody shout hallelujah God said trust me and if you begin to praise him I'm gonna make a way out of no way for you it's look dark 
it seems like there is no light at the end of the tunnel but if you begin to praise God I guarantee you my God he is a way maker he is the Lord God that seated I and he knows everything about you somebody give him a praise early in the morning when I seek my God early in the morning would I cry unto him and whenever I get a chance to pray I will pray whenever I get a chance to praise him I will praise him do I have three praises in this house can just jump up and shout glory Ah, oh, shout hallelujah. Glory, sit down a little bit. Ushandayaba. Manda kusito shatayaba maba kushandayaba. Matayaba shutayaba. Devil, you can't win this battle. My God, the battle belongs to the Lord. All God is saying to do, trust me and I will fight this battle for you. Trust me and I will open up doors for you. Trust me and I will close doors that the enemy is opening to destroy you. Somebody shout glory. David is reaching up to God and he's not happy being in his troubles but he's seeking out the face of God on a daily basis to bring peace David said to himself in you I take shelter and then once again, he asked God to teach him his ways. Teach me your way, God. He ends by saying, revive me, O Lord. He realizes he's in serious trouble and he's dying on the inside. And so he said, God, revive me. And we could put it this way and say, Lord, revive me lest I die. Uh, somebody need to be revived in their spirit. Right now. Somebody dress up this morning. You came here. You're looking good on the outside. But inside you're dying on the inside. All you need to do is call unto the Lord. Because if David could have done it. You can also do it. And just say Lord revive me. Mama Kushanda. I'm praying, I'm crying. The tears are coming, and it seems like something on the inside is going on wrong on the inside. I'm dying on the inside. Folks talk bad about me, folks are criticizing. But Lord, revive me. Somebody better open up your mouth and speak it in your spirit. Lord, revive me. I'm not going to sit here and die. But revival comes from God himself. David recognized it and he said, Lord, revive me. I want to know your way, God. I want to walk in your statue, God. Teach me thy way. But God, before you teach me that way revive me I'm dying on the inside Mama Kushata have you ever been there are you there this afternoon just say Lord revive me God said trust me this word is for you revive my soul revive my finance revive my job revive my anointing revive my ministry Revive my power. Revive my singing. Somebody show revive me. Shut up. Devil, 
you're not going to have me revive me oh, my God I'm about to die but God said my God weeping may endure for a night but joy is coming on the inside I need back my joy I need back my revival I need back that anointing that I first had when I met the Lord somebody show revive me devil back up back up back up we serve your notice we serve your notice get out get out get out the blood of Jesus is against you everyone in this building is going to make it revive us God come too far by faith leaning on the arm of Jesus I come too far I've been been through uh, the flood and the water I cried to Jesus tears is a language that God understand tears fill my pillar David at one point in time said tears was my meat hallelujah Oh God, somebody not crying enough to God yet. If the man of the God's own heart was saying tears was his meat seven times a day, God, I won't praise you. My God, that word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. David knew about trouble, he knew about war. He could have torn a lion, he could have torn a bear with his beer hands but now David is saying God fight this battle for me it is too much fight it take it for me is there anybody is here saying God fight this battle for me the pressure is on the job the pressure is with the landlord the pressure in my kushanda is at school I can't find the school fee I can't find the rent but Lord open up a door for me fight this battle for me somebody give the Lord a praise David hear, 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 what, hear what Solomon in his experience said he said trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding and he said in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path he said, do not be wise in your own eyes, but fear the Lord and depart from evil. It will be health to your flesh and strength to your bones. He said, now honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your increase. So your bonds will be filled with plenty it will overflow with wine he said my son do not despise the chastening of the Lord nor detest his correction for whom the Lord loves he corrects just as a father the son in whom he delights and so when God is correcting us and whopping us, it's not because he hates us, but because he loves us. And when God chases you and you get a little beaten from the Lord, you got to consider yourself important and know that God loves you. I don't understand a lot of God's ways because Isaiah 
puts it this way and he say for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways declare the Lord as far as the heavens is from the hurt that as far as his ways are from our ways I do know that we need to acknowledge that the God of our salvation is in charge and he will direct our path how do we acknowledge him brother brown how do we know where god is telling us to go well it tells us in this text that we just read what does it mean don't be wise in your eyes do you remember in the days of noah and lot where the bible says that men were doing what was right in their own sight glory be to God I believe the same thing is happening in Christendom now my God too many times we are doing what we think is right and not what God said is right uh, it feel good it look good so I'm going to do it anyhow but no matter what I'm going to do it and God will back me up can I tell you that's not God way at all you got to seek him first and know what he wants you to do don't go running and doing it and say God will back me up anyhow oh, when you go in the will of God he will back you up but if you go outside of the will you're looking for trouble my God you've got to know what God wants for you and what God means and what God intention is in this time and this season because the adversary is just looking out for you to make a wrong turn a detour so he can have you and conquer you but can I tell you this afternoon hallelujah God said if you trust me I will bring you out and I will show you things that you have never seen before if you trust me hallelujah and the psalmist will put it this way some trust in chariots and some trust in our says but we will remember the name of the Lord the name of the Lord is a strong and a mighty tower the Bible said the righteous run in it and they are saved forevermore hallelujah when you're under the wings of God the devil can't do you any harm he that abide it under the wings of God the devil cannot tear you down he cannot sift you as as wheat he cannot tear you apart his intention is to destroy us for the Bible said he comes to kill steal and destroy that's what the old dragon wants to do but can I tell you that you're anointed God of his seal upon you and what the devil is planning it won't work tell your neighbor it won't work hallelujah I feel a prophecy right here Oh God, hallelujah. Whatever you need, it's already done. Tell your neighbor, it's done. In the name of Jesus, somebody received the prophecy. It's done. What you're seeking, it's done. Mama Kushatayaba, I don't know what you're looking, but you come here with a troubled spirit. Tell somebody, hold them and tell them, it's done. It's done. It's done. It's over with. It's sealed. God say, it's done. If you trust me, I will do it for you. Oh God Almighty, it look hard. It seems like there is no light at the end of the tunnel. What you're going through, it seems like trouble is on every side. My God, you're between a rock and a hard place. But here comes Moses leading the children of Israel to the promised land. Pharaoh didn't decide to give up because he knows the position he lost and he wanted it back no why 
while they were heading over the Red Sea was before them and Pharaoh and his army was coming like some madman to wipe them out oh God but Moses began to cry to the Lord and the Lord said what you have in your hand use it my God all Moses had was a rod in his hand he could have separated the Red Sea open it up so the children of Israel and himself could walk through on dry land this was all water but when it opened up the sands became dry they walked through in slanders and no sand get in between their toe because God make it hard for them that they could go through what do I they were on their way over to the other side and begin halfway through here comes Pharaoh and his army with the idosity to wipe out the people of God can you tell your neighbor if God be for you who can be against you my God and when they cross through God closed the sea and drowned every one of them kill every one of them so it is with a child of God the enemy that you see today you will see them no more God is about to wipe your enemies out God is about to destroy your enemy God is about to drown your enemy he said trust me I'm going to see you true God is a deliverer somebody give him a praise Your bishop said they come in one way but they flee seven way. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him and heaven and earth adore him. Fear him and depart from evil. That's all God is saying to us today. Fear God and depart from evil uh, go get yourself entangled uh, God if God be for you who can be against you if you want the Lord's side stay on the Lord's side don't put one foot here and one foot there it can't work you're going to be destroyed put your two foot in God's territory you can't have one foot on the enemy territory and one foot on God's territory by pre-adventure whichever one works it don't work so with God God said to tell you put your trust in him somebody need to let go of that and throw your trust in God God is about to come true for you but he needs to get your trust somebody give him praise You're in a good church. And why I'm saying you're in a good church. Uh, I, I, I was doing a little research and, and reading up on some other churches. And, and it came to me that just as the churches are full, they have their method of getting people in. And some don't even wonder or think twice about the quality. What they want is the quantity. <laughs> and this is where a lot of church is going to be in problem. Because by whatever means to win souls, in fact, or to pull people to come to a place to worship and to gather they will compromise to get the crowd. <laughs> I said you're in a good place. You're in a good church. And so I saw where one church, and I'm sure probably more than one, is showing it worldly movies and 
advertising the new video game called Halo, which has nothing to do with Christ. They are holding Halo tournaments in order to reach out to the young people to win the youth and compromising God's word in order to get numbers. Mama Kushanda Yaba. Listen, we, we, we need to reach the youth, yes. But our message must be the message of the cross. Our message must be the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. Ah, God, you got a good pastor that is holding to the foundation. My God, we don't need a hollow game in here to win any youth here. But we preach Jesus Christ. We preach him and him crucified. Hallelujah. A conviction must get somebody and win them over. And when you get convicted, now you can trust God. Because if you're not convicted, there is no trust for God. Hallelujah. But when you know that God has brought you from a nobody to somebody, then you have trust in God. Hallelujah. I didn't start our church all like this. Hallelujah. I'm coming from a mighty long way. So when I know what God has done for me, in fact, when you meet God and you get a conviction with God, God is going to give you a testimony that I bring you true. If God going to make you sick, and end up in the hospital and about to die then he heal your body my god the doctors give up on you and say i can't do anything more but god came in and heal your body that's a conviction that god is real is there anybody know that god is real is there anybody have a testimony that god is real i've god done it for you i've god ever done anything for you if god ever done something for you jump up off your feet and give God a crazy praise in this house. Mamaku Satayaba Shata. God, do it for me. So devil, you can't tell me to give up now. I'm convicted by the word. I'm convicted by his miracle. I'm convicted by his healing power. I'm convicted by the doors he opened up for me. I didn't got no money in my pocket, but God make a way out of nowhere. Is there anybody believe that God is a way maker? He's a miracle working God. He's a bomb in Gilead. God said, trust me. Watch me, watch me. Uh, chapel, I'm going to do something miraculous from you. Bishop Daly, get ready for this. Sito Shanda Makasito Bishop. My God, whatever you need, God say, a miracle is coming. Do I have a crazy praiser? Do I have some crazy faith in faith chopper? I feel radical in my spirit now. God say, don't just sit and fall your hand. Get up and look it. Get up and make it happen. Sit down and you want it to come. Go look it. Get up. Fight for it. Look it. Devil, you're not gonna win this battle if God is on your side. What are you worrying about? God said, Trust me. I don't see the first dollar, but God said, Trust me. I am in need when you're in need of something and you cry to God God will do it somebody give him a praise last time I check the God that we serve he never changed 
For he is the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. He said, I am Jehovah Rapha, the Lord God, our healer. He said, I am Jehovah Jireh, the one that provides for you. And so God said, I need Lord God chapel to, to, to have faith in me. I need chapel to trust me. I'm about to release some miracle in this house. I'm going to do extraordinary. You're going to exploit for God. God say, if you trust him, I will bring you out of your dilemma. My God, I will bring you out of your valley experience. You're in the valley too long. But somebody write and said in the valley, he restored my soul. I'm in revive. I'm in the valley, but I'm revived right now. I'm being restored right now. Somebody give him praise. Shanda Makusito Shatayaba Mama Makushanda Yababa Kusatayaba Yes Yes what he done for brother he's doing for you he said I'm going to do it for you hallelujah let me let me let me just break it down I'm sitting I'm going to hold my seat my God but I feel something uh, turning on the inside because somebody is about to give up somebody is about to throw in their towel they try everything uh, and everything fail but God said I want you to talk Totally show yourself over with me and trust me. My God, don't have any contingency plan, don't have any backup plan, but trust God. That's what he's saying. Trust me with your finance, trust me, hallelujah, and I will bring you out. Brother Brown, are you crazy? What you're talking about? I'm crazy for the word, I'm crazy with what God said. If God said it, he's going to do it. And to, hallelujah. Mary said to him, whatever he tells you to do, just do it. When Jesus was about to do his first miracle, hallelujah. He said, I hear Mary said, whatever he tells you to do, don't question it, just do it. My God, he told them to fill the water pot of waters to the brim. They didn't question Jesus. Jesus, but they fill it and take it to him and all the jars were turned into wine it was the best wine that they ever drank I hear the Pharisees I hear the Sadducees everybody served the best wine but you saved the best for last hallelujah you have been trodden down but God said I'm saving you the best is yet to come somebody give him praise you're not forgotten God said trust me your best is yet to come you feel neglected you feel walked over you feel left out they don't call you to do nothing in church but just work on the backside and God is going to anoint you and bring you forward somebody shout glory I'm out of time. But this word is bubbling on my inside. That while we walk on this pathway, you will hear what the voice is trying to detour you. But you were just about to finish evangelist. And so... Once you have put on the name of Jesus, some people don't believe this, but you're engaged in warfare. Because there is two spirit, one that is good, one that is bad. 
You got the spirit of God and the spirit of the devil. And they constantly war against each other. And some of us were very good for Satan. And he lost some of his best soldier. And now you're on the battlefield for the Lord. He's not going to take it lightly. He's going to try to pull you back. Just as when Pharaoh lost the children of Israel, he went back after them to grab them back. And this is how it is. It's warfare. But God said, trust him. You don't need to fight this battle. I hear clearly God say, you don't need to fight this battle. The battle is not yours, but it is the Lord's. And that's why we need to trust him. Because if we lose our trust, we are losing our faith. And when we lose our faith, we lose our way. And so the enemy is plaguing in your mind. Are you really in the right place? Are you really in the right church? Ah, oh God, but I just gave you some scenario. Ah, oh God, we are not looking for quantity. Ah, oh God, but we want quality. We want persons who will seek the face of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Person who is hungry after God. Person who is hungry after the anointed. Person who will keep the fire blazing on the inside. Hallelujah. Don't let the fire go cold on the inside. Don't let the anointing dry up on the inside. Hallelujah. You're in a good place to keep charge and keep the anointing blazing and keep the fire blazing. So when I trust God, he's going to do it for me. Is there a believer? here that say whatever I need from God if I call him he will answer me hallelujah my God hallelujah the prophet of all they believe so much in God hallelujah oh God and so whenever they call on their God they know their God will answer by fire oh God the God that we serve oh God don't need no matches he's fire all by himself Self. and when you call on Jesus the angels are coming to back you up you are back up from heaven so no warlock no witch no demon can stop you open up your mouth and say the blood of Jesus when you come under the attack of the enemy the Bible said the spirit of God will lift a standard against the enemy and so when I trust in God I'm a living witness a living testimony that God had done it for me when the enemy came in like a flood God came in lift up and war against seven demons trying to pull me down but God said I'm sending my angels my God in the wee hour of the morning getting up off your knees and praying you feel the attack of demonic forces around you trying to hout you out but God send back it him when you trust in him oh God I hear somebody testify last year this time COVID almost got them but God send back it him I can testify the same thing hold me down but God send back it him my throat was out my breath stopped but I cried Jesus I saw the blood of Jesus and I got up speaking in tongues and everything was over it was alright 
because I trust in the power of God. If you trust in God, he will do it for you. Is there a believer here? Is there a worshiper here? Is there a praiser here? Somebody showed glory. I'm about to put this mic down, but I need some radical praiser. Give me some praise musician for two minutes. I want everybody to open up your mouth, jump off your seat, and begin to praise God. Praise him in the morning. Praise him on the cymbal. Praise him on the drum. Praise him on the guitar. Praise him on the tambourine. Praise him with your hand. Open up your mouth and praise him. Back up. Back up. Back up. Satan. Back, 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 back up. Ushata. Manda kusitoyama. We are victors. We are winners. We are anointed for this. And God said, trust me. God bless you, chap. As we continue to lift up the bloodstained banner and begin to praise God. If there is a sinner, there is a savior. The altar is open and we don't want to close without inviting somebody that haven't known the Lord. As somebody who needs the Holy Ghost. The altar is open. The altar is open. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God. If there's, if there's someone without the Holy Ghost, we're invited to come right now. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. The Lord God has spoken this word here today. Hallelujah. It's a confirmation to the church. Praise God. Could we all stand? Could we all stand? Is there someone? Is there someone who... Who wants to be delivered today? Is there someone? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you. We pray, Lord Jesus God, for your anointing upon your servant. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord Jesus God of heaven, that you will cover him, Lord Jesus God, as he has dispatched your words to your people. Lord God Almighty, bind up. The forces of darkness that would come against him. Jesus, praise God. If you're here, if you want to, someone to pray for you, just come on. Hallelujah. Jesus. If you need the Holy Ghost, come. If you just need someone to pray with you, come. If you have a need that you need someone to pray with you, come. Could the church stand? Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. As they reach out, praise God. Come, sis. Come, let's we pray for you in the name of Jesus. Yes, come. Yes. Praise God. Whatever it is that you need from God, He can give it to you today. If you need salvation, you can have it. If you need healing for your body, God can grant it to you. If you have not yet surrendered your life to God, this is a good time for you to surrender your life to him. Praise God. Can I ask one of the leaders to come and just lay hands on her and just pray with her. Just find out exactly what is her request from God. As she comes, we are going to be specific. With what we are doing here today. We are going to be specific. Is it that she desires salvation? God is a God who is able to answer. You want us to pray for you sir? Come sir. Stand right here. Can I have somebody else to come and pray with him? Praise God. Praise God. 
In the name of Jesus, can we have some worshipers in the house? Can we begin to lift up our hands and magnify God? Because he is awesome. He is an awesome God. He is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. If we lift him up, the word of life has gone forth. Singers. Hallelujah. If it had not been oh, yes. for the Lord on my side, on my side just tell, tell me, me where, where would I be? Would I where be? would you be? God has rescued us. And as he has rescued us, we are here. If it had to pray you too with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. We are here to pray you too to the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Reach out to Jesus. Open your mouth and talk to him. Tell him what is it that you desire of him. He kept my enemies away. While we can pray for he you, you have to reach out to God for yourself. Through a cloudy day, he rocked me in the cradle of his arms. When he knew. Understand. But we would love for some people to come get up a little bit more. Let's just reach out with those who are at the altar. Sing it with the joy and the peace and the love. Jesus. Let the, the praise come from down inside of you. Yes, open up your mouth. Yes. Reach out to him. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Yes.
king said, Did we not pass? We made it to the first time. I can see, oh man, they're losing the fight, and I'm burning. They're walking around. Oh, God, deliver us again. Oh, my God, deliver us again. When it seems that all is lost, he reaches down his head. That's when all the forces of evil have to flee the hands of man. Oh, you see what? When it seems the hopeless, my God, he lives again. You see just when things are hopeless, my God, he lives again. Surely will deliver Daniel God Surely will deliver If you only look To him by faith Daniel God Surely will deliver Oh Daniel God Surely will deliver Daniel God Surely will deliver if you only look to him by faith. Oh, God, surely will deliver. Oh, God, surely will deliver. Oh, God, surely will deliver. If you only look to him. Surely will deliver. Oh, that God. Surely will deliver. If you are in the name of God, that God. Surely will deliver. Oh, that God. Surely will deliver. That God. Surely will deliver. You are the enough to win my faith, and your God surely will deliver. Oh, and your God surely will deliver. Oh, and your God surely will deliver. If you are the enough to win my faith, and your God. Surely will deliver. I've got my mind made up yes, that I won't turn back because I want to see my Jesus someday. I've got my mind made up yes, that I won't turn back oh, I want to see my Jesus someday. I've got my mind made up. And I won't turn back Because I want to see my Jesus someday I've got my mind made up And I won't turn back Because I want to see my Jesus someday I've got my mind made up And I won't turn back Because I want to see my Jesus someday I've got my mind made up, yes, and I want to turn back, because I want to see my Jesus someday. I've got my mind made up, and I won't turn back, because I want to see my Jesus someday. I've got my mind made up, and I won't turn back, because I want to See my Jesus someday. I've got my mind made up, and I won't turn back. And I want to see my Jesus someday. I've got my mind made up, and I won't turn back. I want to see my Jesus someday. Oh, 
goodbye world I stay no longer with you Goodbye pleasures of sin I stay no longer with you I made up my mind to go back way the rest of my life I made up my mind to go back way the rest of my life Goodbye world Goodbye world I stay no longer with you Goodbye pleasures of sin I made up my mind to go back with the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go back with the rest of my life. I made up my mind. I made up my mind to go back with the rest of my life. I made up my mind to go back with the rest of my life. You have what you cannot see. You have ears, but you cannot hear. Oh, Jesus sent us to warn, but our hearts then understand. As it were in the days of no one for the coming of the Son of Man. So when you see this vision sign, then you should know it's a good time. You have what you cannot see, you are here, but you cannot hear. Oh, Jesus said, just the one, but your heart can understand. And it were in the days of no one, so the coming of the Son of Man. So when you see this, we shall stand, then you shall know it's a cup time. Yes, I'm born for a holy children, care for the church of God. But well, very soon the church will be leaving. We are going to be with the Lord. We're gonna read it to the paper and the TV. So we're gonna hear it on the radio. How millions of saints are gone. They are going to be with the Lord. Yes, they're born for the children. They're born for the church of God. But well, very soon the saints will be leaving. We are going to be with the Lord. God, before we continue to sing, let's just pray. I just want to pray for those who have responded to the altar. I just want to pray for God's guidance and keeping for all of us. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, God, we thank you. Lord God, we thank you for your word. Jesus, Lord God, you have confirmed your word for this day. We thank you for your servant, Lord God, who you have sent with a word for this time, for this moment. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, God, we thank you for him. Bless him, Lord God. Cover him and his family. We thank you, Lord Jesus, God, for the souls that have responded to your word. We pray, God, that the word will be in their heart. And, Lord God, that it will be on good ground. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, God, strengthen each and every one of us, Lord God. Help us to receive this word, Lord God. Help us, Lord God, that we will trust you as an individual, Lord God, and as a collective body, as the church, Lord Jesus, God, that we will trust you, Lord God. Continue to cover us and strengthen us, Lord Jesus, God. Help us that this word will be within our heart, Lord God, throughout this week, Lord God, that whatever circumstances come upon us, help us to say, Lord God, I will trust you, Lord God. You are my only hope, my only source. So I trust you, God. Bless, Lord Jesus, God. Cover us, Lord God. Protect us and guide us, Lord Jesus, God. 
As we give you thanks, as we give you praise, let your will continue to be done within our life. As we tell you thanks, and we bless your name, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Praise yes, God. I oh.